mga kawaw mat, in this video, i-discuss natin kung paano mag-evaluate given ang summation notation. So, in this video, matututo tayo kung paano mag-substitute o isolve ang summation notation. So, first, ano nga ba ang sigma notation? So, a sigma notation is a more concise way to express the sum of a sub 1 up to a sub n, or yung series na tinatawag natin. This is, uh, we can make use of summation notation or sigma notation. Okay. Ano ba yung sigma notation? So, this is a Greek letter. So, as you can see, it looks like letter E. And it is called sigma, which tells us to sum or add up the terms. So, pag meron tayong summation notation or sigma, yung symbol ng sigma, ito ang magsasabi that we have to all add all the terms in a uh, series. Okay. So, what are the parts of sigma notation? Okay, given this example, your k is your index of summation o ito yung start o yung tinatawag nating lower limit. Pag sinabi nating index of summation or yung simula, dito tayo unang magsa-substitute kung ano yung number na nandito. So, ito yung simula. And then, your n is the end or yung tinatawag nating upper limit. So, ito yung magsasabi kung hanggang anong number yung isa-substitute natin dito sa k. Okay? So, again, itong k na to, dyan tayo substitute ng number na makukuha natin dito sa k, index of summation, at kung hanggang saan siya, that is your n, yun yung end or upper limit. Let's have an example. So, let us try to find an evil weight. Okay. So, I have here 5K. So, ibig sabihin 5 times K. Ano ba yung K? So, ito ang tinuturo niya. Ibig sabihin yung K natin magsisimula ka sa 1 hanggang 4. So, lahat yan, lahat ng terms natin, i-add natin na yung k natin, ita times natin lahat sa 5. So, halimbawa, since 1 to 4 tayo, so, magsasubstitute tayo ng 1 to 4. Don't forget, it must be the sum or uh, you are going to add all the terms. So, do not forget the plus sign. Okay. So, we will now have... 5 times 1, that is 5. 5 times 2, that is 10. 5 times 3, that is 15. And 5 times 4, it's 20. So, ibig sabihin, we will have 50. So, the summation of 5K or 5 times K from 1 to 4 is equal to 50. Next. So, I have here the summation of 3K plus 1 or 3 times K plus 1. From 1 to 6. So, dito naman, ang k natin ay magsisimula daw tayo sa two, 1. And then, we will end it with 6. So, given this uh, expression, so 3k plus 1, ang ilalagay natin dun sa k, magsisimula tayo sa 1, matatapos tayo sa 6. Kasi yun ang nasa sigma natin. Okay. So, let us now simplify. We will have 3 times 1, that is 3. 3 times 2, that is 6. This is 9, 12, 15, and 3 times 6, it's 18. So, we will now have 3 plus 1 is 4. 6 plus 1 is 7. 9 plus 1 is 10. 12 plus 1 is 13. 15 plus 1 is 16. And 18 plus 1 is 19. So, we will now have, we will add all the terms. We will have 69. Next, the summation of k squared or the square of k from 0 to 4. So, we will have k squared. So, ano yung k? Ano ilalagay natin? Magsisimula tayo sa 0 kasi yun ang nakalagay. mag -e end tayo sa 4. Okay, just follow the uh, expression. Kung k squared, edi, ibig sabihin... The number na isa-substitute mo and then squared. 
Okay, kung ano yung number, tignan mo yung lower limit at upper limit mo. Kung saan magsisimula at kung saan matatapos. So, we now have 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. And 4 squared is 16. So, we will add all the terms. We will now have 30. Because 16 plus 9 is 25 plus 4, it's 29 plus 1, that is 30. Next, I have here the summation of negative 1 raised to k plus 1 from 1 to 5. So, we will now have, so lahat, negative 1 tayo raised to k plus 1. So, ibig sabihin, dun tayo magsa-substitute sa exponent niya. So, ano ang ilalagay natin sa exponent na i-add natin sa 1? So, uh, based on the given, it starts from 1 to 5. So, we will substitute 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, etong nilalagay natin na expression ay nagbe-base lang tayo dun sa kung ano ang given. Okay? So, naglalagay lang tayo ng number or digit na isa substitute dun sa k. The rest, hindi natin siya papakilaman. So, since may negative 1 ka dyan at 1, yun pa rin ang ilalagay mo dyan. So, let us now simplify. We will have negative 1 raised to 1 plus 1, that is raised to 2. And then, negative 1 raised to 3, Kasi 2 plus 1. And then 3 plus 1, we have 4. 4 plus 1, we have 5. And 5 plus 1, we have 6. Okay. Simplify natin. We have negative 1 raised to 2, that is positive 1. Negative 1 raised to 3, that is negative 1. Negative 1 raised to 4, that is positive 1. Negative 1 raised to 5, that is negative 1. And negative 1 raised to 6, that is positive 1. Now, ang shortcut nito, para hindi tayo malito sa sign, if the exponent is an even number, the product is always positive. If it's odd number, the product is always negative. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, sa exponent natin na 2, 4, at 6, yung product natin is positive. Okay? So, we will now have 1 plus negative 1, that is 0. And then, 1 plus negative 1 again, that is still 0. So, what's left is 1. Let's have another example. <coughs> okay. So, we have the summation of k cube all over k plus 1. So, magsa-substitute tayo sa numerator at denominator. So, hindi na lang isa ang lalagyan natin since meron tayong k sa numerator at denominator. So, we will have, so, saan tayo magsisimula? From zero. So, sa numerator at denominator kasi may k tayo on both uh, parts of the fraction. So, from zero to three, ayan, and then, we will simplify. So, we will have 0 raised to 3, that is 0. And then, 0 plus 1, that is 1. So, 0 over 1. 1 raised to 3, that is 1. 1 plus 1, that is 2. So, we have 1 half. 2 raised to 3 is 8. And then, 2 plus 1, that is 3. So, 8 over 3. And then, 3 raised to 3 is 27 over 3 plus 4, that is 4. So, 27 over 4 equals 119 over 12. Get the LCD. The LCD is 12 and then simplify. Okay? Next, I have here the summation of negative 1 raised to k over k. Okay, so kagaya na naman kanina, dalawa yung k na lalagyan natin o magsa-substitute tayo. Pero yung isa dito ay exponent. So, ayan na. So, meron tayong k sa numerator and denominator. Pero ano nga ba ang ilalagay natin sa mga k na yan? Of course, we will start from 1 to 5. So, don't forget... The k in the numerator, it's just an exponent. Okay? And then, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, 
sundan lang natin yung ano yung pattern yung rule okay and then simplify negative one raised to one is negative one over one negative one raised to two is positive one over two or one half so kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina if the exponent is um an even number the product is positive if it's an odd number the product is negative Okay, so next. So, negative 1 since add number siya, so negative 1. And then over 3. And then 4 is an even number, so positive 1 over 4. And then we all uh, we all have uh, negative 1 raised to 5. So, that is negative 1 over 5. Okay. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kinopya lang naman natin yung denominator dahil wala namang kailangan isolve sa denominator. So, we now have negative 1 over 1, that is negative 1. And then, just copy 1 half, 1 third. So, yung 1 third natin, negative 1 third na siya kasi, uh, ano natin, plus and then times negative. So, that is negative. And then, plus and then plus. So, we now have, get the LCD, simplify, we have negative 47 over 60. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!